high point farms in Trubenberg, New York, which is within a half hour away from Watson Plan, where Farm Sanctuary Worker is located. Um, is there any visible difference? Both operations offer space and care, varying widely from the factory farming industry. The images themselves do not appear to be a stark contrast between the two. The only difference in one, the animals are still being farmed, and the other, there is no farming. Well, exactly is it important to study farm sanctuaries? <clears throat> I chose to study farm sanctuaries because they pose a unique problem for the way in which we humans categorize animals. They are a primary example of categories in flux, potentially. Whether sanctuaries are aware of it or not, they have created a space that places the animals they work with in a liminal state between categories. Sanctuaries clearly demonstrate an alternative to how our culture relates to the animals classified as farm animals. It is clear that the animals on farm sanctuaries are no longer living out the social narrative of the category farm animal, and therefore, sanctuaries demonstrate that farm animals are, and farm animals are not permanently within the category farm animal, and that there are different ways to relate to those animals. It is unclear in farm sanctuaries what the category animals, the animals involved are classified as. Again, as they are not being farmed, I believe it is fair to say that they are no longer farm animals. Are they something similar to zoo animals or companion animals? Are they in an entirely new category? Are they even able to be categorized? These, there are some specific questions that emerge from this analysis of farm sanctuaries. Do, do farm sanctuaries see the animals they work with as farm animals? Are farm sanctuaries even farms? And most significantly, these questions and analysis thus far pose the most analytical question, most significant analytical question for this presentation. According to farm, an, uh, farm sanctuaries, what is the future for the category of farm animal and the individual animals within that category? Um, additionally, uh, all right, yeah, just to recap, the questions are the driving force of the rest of the presentation. How do sanctuaries classify the animals for whom they care? What future, if any, do sanctuaries envision for the category of farm animal and for those, the individual and kinds of animals that are currently designated as such? Um, so, upon analyzing the websites to uh, see if there was any rhetoric or language use that would imply a future for the, what the future could possibly be and how they look at the animals that are currently in those spaces, um, one thing that emerged was that in creating a space that does demonstrate an alternative, um, Okay, uh, one sec. Um, in creating a space that demonstrates an alternative and possibly suggests something about the nature of their work and how it relates to the category of farm animals and individuals within the category. This is evident in farm sanctuary's definition. A sanctuary is a place where animals can come to live and be protected for the rest of their lives. It's a safe haven where they receive the very best possible care. Additionally, farm sanctuary remains solidly committed to our the quote, to our mission to end cruelty to farm animals and promote compassionate living through rescue, education, and advocacy efforts. They want, seemingly, they seemingly want an end to violence, but not necessarily the category of farm animal. They promote a very starch, anti-factory farming view and display themselves as in opposition to factory farming. But nothing is said about alternative agriculture, which could suggest that they aren't necessarily against farming, or more specifically, the category of farm animal. No breeding policy enacted on all sanctuaries, but specifically in the context of farm sanctuaries, suggests that the future of the par particular individuals and kinds that they work with is one of extinction. However, this could be just an issue of space or resources and doesn't suggest any, um, any further, any future for the category. One could imagine a world where the category farm animal exists, but with no animals to occupy it. Furthermore, they advocate a vegan lifestyle free of animal products, as most of us know, if they were 100% successful in converting all people to veganism, there would be no consumption of animals, and there wouldn't be any need for farms. This could be a push for the end of the category, but it is unclear because of their unclear position on alternative agriculture, and this position does not show um, the future of the individuals within the category. Um, Sorry. 
Uh, the American Zoological Association states that the primary goal of the zoo is exhibition. The sanctuary accrediting organizations specifically state that the organi uh, organizations that encourage exhibition as their primary goal are not sanctuaries. They claim that their primary goal is to provide safety and care for the animals involved. They have a no exhibition policy. To, they have to meet a no exhibition policy to be accredited. Um, this is a quote, no use of animals for any commercial activity that is exploitative in nature. Commercial activities are defined as follows, allowing free roaming public access to the animals of the, or the sanctuary, using sanctuary animals for exhibition, using sanctuary animals for entertainment, buying, selling, trading, or auctioning animals or their body parts, any other activity inconsistent with humane care and welfare of sanctuary animals. So in, in um, stating what the American Zoological uh, Association states, that separates the animals that are on, um, on farm sanctuaries from being something close to a zoo, an animal in a zoo. However, the, um, the sanctuary accrediting organizations state that there is no commercial use policy. This suggests um, that alternative agriculture, which has served, which has uh, been uh, a problem up to this point in trying to define what exactly the animals are on sanctuaries, um, that those operations, alternative agricultural operations, are different than sanctuaries, even if sanctuaries do not take a hardline stance against all alternative agriculture, which could possibly suggest that sanctuaries work with a different category of animal, but it's not enough to say for sure. <clears throat> Uh, again, the sanctuaries do not explicitly state what they envision for the future of the category farm animal or the, those critters that occupy the, that category. However, in advocating veganism, abiding by the no breeding policy and the abolition of exploitative, exploitative use of the animals, it does suggest that the future of the category farm animal would be at least different in the future, and possibly the category would be non-existent um, from the perspective of farm sanctuaries. Additionally, in promoting these different uh, positions of no breeding, um, vegan advocacy especially, farm sanctuaries could be claiming that the animals that currently occupy the category farm animal should be non-existent. However, it is possible that the animals currently in the category farm animal could move to a different category in terms of other social function. It is unclear um, from the information provided on the website. In conclusion, based solely on the information provided on the websites, it is inconclusive as to how, category, how sanctuaries categorize animals they work with. They do suggest a possibly new category, sanctuary animal, but this is never defined. Additionally, although they are seemingly against, um, they seemingly are against factory farming or farming generally, and quite possibly the category farm animal, they never state that on, on the websites. From this, or work needs to be done to come to a more definitive answer to the, these questions. Um, the political and so so social implications. Uh, sanctuaries demonstrate the alternative culture that much of the animal rights movement seeks to construct. Sanctuaries also provide a space for people to reconsider their current relationships to the animals classified as farm animals and show different ways of relating are possible in our world. However, if the animals that occupy the category were to just left to become extinct, as is implied but never stated for sure based on the websites, is there not some sort of contradiction that the animal rights movement and sanctuaries want people to see classified animals classified as farm animals as potentially much more than that category, and yet we let the animals die out because of their um, because their social purpose has shifted? <clears throat> also, do sanctuaries fit into animal liberation? It is. Is it truly liberation to have animals in the future become extinct or just shift categories within um, yeah, just shift categories within our society? I believe that sanctuaries offer a space that not only challenges the dominant conception of the category farm animal, but also the category animal. It would seem that, that sanctuaries would, could share this view, but it's not for sure. It would seem as well that true animal liberation would be a post-animal line of thought, where other non-human critters are liberated from the categorization of an animal and sanctuaries have the potential to shape this discourse into reality. For obvious logistical and rhetorical reasons, promoting a post-animal world is not going to be something that hits the mainstream public anytime soon. If farm animals, and possibly um, not animals, who are the... If not farm